Another exciting afternoon at the J. Davidson Stadium. Altrincham have triumphed by two goals to one against Torquay United. We're talking to assistant manager Neil Tolson. First of all, Neil, a great spectacle for more than 1,200 people here this afternoon. I thought it was a really good game of football. I, I, I did as well. Um, it was it was end-to-end -end at times. Two teams that wanted to play football in the right way. Um, getting it down and passing it. Uh, lots of shots and... It's, it's been quite a cold day, but I'm sure that's uh, that performance from us. And, and to be fair, for Torquay in large patches has, uh, has warmed many people up today. I think Torquay had uh, the better of the first half, certainly created better chances, but Stuart Coburn and some good defending and one or two misses from the, De the Devon side's uh, strikers. That, that was maybe where they missed their opportunity. But they, Yeah, they did. They had, uh, they had good pressure uh, first first 15 minutes, first 20 minutes of the game. But I also thought we created chances uh, as, the, as the first half went on. Um, but yeah, you, you, you're probably right there. It's, they, they'd look at it that they want to get a goal before half-time. Unfortunately for us, they haven't. Uh, we've stood strong. Stewie's been great again. The back four have stood up and everything that's thrown at them, they've edited it, kicked it, got the body in the way when they needed to. And you know, and we've gone in at at one nil. Well, we haven't rested on our laurels. The, you know, we'd have been quite happy six months ago winning one nil. But no, we wasn't. They wasn't playing to the standards that we expected. Um, they've been told that at half time, and I thought for parts of the second half we looked a very good side. Yeah, in going back to the, the first half for a second, uh, the first goal was crucial as it always is, and it was a strange goal. It was. It was. It was a great cross from Ryan. He's, um, you know, he's got his head up. Um, missed the missed the first man out and, and Reeves he sort of held his run and um I was winding him up after the game saying he was off his shoulder but you know it wasn't it was a it was a great header. Um lobbed the goalkeeper, uh, give him no chance but no it was a it was a great ball in from Ryan Crowther and uh, as I say Reeves he dropped his shoulder, uh, found himself a yard of space and, and put it in for us. It's a real deceptive uh, looping header because I think Jordan Seabright is, has been deceived because I think if he maybe taken a step back, he might have been able to make a comfortable save. But in the end, he's uh, all over the place. May, you know, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a position where if you do make a mistake, it's highlighted as a goalkeeper. Um, it looked it looked from where we were uh, when we first, you know, we've only had one, you know, the first time to see it was obviously live in the game. It looked like Damien wasn't actually going to get there, and uh, you know, sometimes that wrong foot's a goalkeeper. Um, we've got no complaints, so it's gone in the back of the net. Second half, first two or three minutes, uh, Torquay have started very brightly. But from that point on, we've really pushed our foot down on the pedal and played some wonderful stuff. Yeah, most definitely. And I, those, those were the words that I used after the game for, for 20 minutes, 25 minutes of the second half. That's, that's as good a football as what we've played in a long, long time against a very, very good side. Um, creating chances and... Uh, for where we are and what we want to achieve, more importantly, we look solid at the back as well. So it was, so it was a good all-round performance going forward and defensively. And we've scored the all-important uh, second goal. Again, Damien Reeves involved and a good finish by Ryan Crowther. Uh, but to, before that, we had a, we had a throw-in and, and Damien had done some really good work. He'd run into a, a good position. He'd worked the ball across the box. We'd won the throw-in. He's worked really hard this afternoon. He's got his goal and he set one up. He has, uh, Damien, Damien's one of those players that... As a, as a defender, you know that he's always there. He's always on the pitch. He's always working. He's always lively. Um, sometimes, the from a supporter's point of view, and we're not being you know disrespectful when we say this, you, you sometimes don't see the work that he does. But that's what Damien does every time. He's always trying to occupy the the defender's shoulders, looking to get in behind, helping out. He's been he's been very very good today, as Damien. Fair play to Ryan Crowther. Uh, it wasn't an easy finish. It could easily have gone either side of the post, but he's taken it uh, in a very composed style. Yeah, he's he's a he's, a, he's another one. Um, cool head on uh, you know in, in difficult situations. He's, he's very similar in training. Um, he's a very very good finisher. He reminds me very much of uh, of Greg Wilkinson when he's in those kind of positions. And obviously, we all know what Greg did here on May the tenth. It was uh, and it was similar kind of finish, wasn't it? He's come back out to him and. Cool head, and luckily for us, it's at the back of the net. Torquay look dead and buried. Then out of the blue, they've scored a fantastic goal. Great strike, great strike. We've, um, I'm not seeing it yet on the TV, but it looked like from where we were, it swerved about four or five different directions and gave, gave Stewie absolutely no chance. But we're a little bit disappointed that we gave the lad the, the time and the space to do that. We felt like we could have squoezed the pitch up a little bit, a little bit more, but it didn't. And, and to be fair, we had to dig in a little bit at the end. 
We finished with uh, 10 men, and I think there were nine bookings in the game, uh, including the two for Sean Williams. Uh, what, did, what did you make of the, of the Sean uh, incident for the, for the second yellow card? From where we were, it, it, we can't really see. Um, it, looked, it looked like it was just a coming together, uh, and Sean had gone past him. We don't. It, it's impossible for us to comment on from, from where we were. We'll have a look. We'll have a good look at the video, and, and, and obviously, uh, probably better off answering it in a, in a couple of days' time once we've seen the replay of it. And we've hung on three points, 42 points now. I think we're in 14th position in the league, and level with Tokyo United. Fantastic. Well, if if you'd have said that to us at the start of the season after after 30 games we're going to be level points with Torquay I think we'd have all all taken that but we're not we, we can't rest on our laurels we've got to kick forward and the gaffer's got a saying we're, we're going to keep rolling the dice and let's see where it takes us it's a bit of a disappointment to lose Sean because uh, Peter Cavana is injured and Sean will obviously miss the game against Bath City in the trophy next Saturday yeah, so that might be a little bit of a conundrum for for you and Lee yeah we'll have to we'll have to see We'll know probably better Tuesday whether Cav's going to be fit or not. He's a big, big player for us. And, uh, you know, we've got a couple with Sean Densmore's picked up a niggle. He's an automatic one. He could go and play in there and bring Scott Leather in. Uh, but we will, we're better off waiting to see how Cav is and then we can, we can, you know, establish a decision what we're going to make after that. That's uh, Neil Tolson there, delighted with Altrincham's uh, victory in the 2-1 win against Torquay United. Next up, it's FA Trophy third round action when Altrincham travel to take on Bath City at Twerton Park next Saturday.